evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. He's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Mongoose is giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. He digs in with a left hand to the body. with a hook and coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round good body shot the right hand came home unable to score with the uppercut that time parries that punch intended for the head keep that head moving Able to time that left hand and score with it. Hey, keep your hands up. Not much action as he just ties up. Good job. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The Mongoose has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. One, two, one, two. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Hmm. 
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice work with the overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Move your head! Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. there is a forceful uppercut by the mongoose he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect keeping his hands up getting way of his opponent's effort scored well with that right hand to the body Halfway through round number two. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. You see him holding on. A well-targeted jab that time. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Finish with the hook. The Mongoose's right hand scores well that time. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. with that power punch by the mongoose. Ten clicks of the talk. Don't let him get to you, kid. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? You got that? All right, we need to pull ahead here. This fight is too close. I need you to double up the jam. Here you go. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. The Mongoose's punch didn't come close. Watch that. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Targeting that overhand left. Hit the body! He just missed that shot up top. 
And he just holds on there. Let it go! in the clinch. Move your head. Scored well with the hook. Oh, there it is! And he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically Come right on. now. Here's you don't want to stay in the middle. Way to block there. Out him with a left hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And somehow some way he's gonna continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black plague my kid focus Last 10 seconds of round number three. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Look at that. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. One, two, three, four, five. Three minutes, and it's over. This fight is over. The Mongoose's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.